October 17, 2017. 17-year-old Jules Reed left her home to head back to Nicollet High School, a routine three-mile drive she had traveled numerous times. After reaching Highway 111, just a half mile from her home, Reed began to turn left when tragedy struck. A dump truck collided into Reed's driver's side door, pinning her in a pile of metal that hardly looked like a vehicle. After an hour, emergency crews finally extricated Jules and airlifted her to HCMC, a level one trauma center in Minneapolis. Inside the ICU, shock filled her mind as she began to understand what lay ahead. Kind of upset and really taken aback by what had happened and realizing that this was gonna be a really big challenge and a big setback. Jules suffered an injury to her brain, two fractures in her jaw, a torn spleen, and seven broken bones. Although her condition wasn't life-threatening, that night took a toll on both her and her family. Things were in pretty rough shape, but to know that she was stable was just great. Um, it's probably the longest day of my life. The road to recovery began quickly. Following two surgeries, Jules was out of the hospital in just eight days without any pain. Even though she was constrained to a wheelchair with a cast up to her thigh, Reed's attitude toward life wasn't shattered in the accident. I don't know if we were even out of the hospital yet, and I heard, when can I have another car, and when can I drive again? She had just an amazing drive to get back to school. She's more amazing than I had any clue. Within a month and a half, she not only returned to school, but began walking. Reed still has no feeling in her jaw, but having that sense of normalcy has not only been her biggest motivation, but something she continues to strive for. Get back into a routine, and um, I haven't been to physical therapy yet, but that's my next step where I'm going. But it's pretty much just being patient. I'm just ready to recover and get back and be a normal senior and finish this year. To help with medical costs, Reed and her family have set up a GoFundMe page with a goal to raise $9,000. In Nicollet, Tyler Segerman, KUIC News 12.